Hey there, my fellow Thebians, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld False God, episode 101, Hot Caldera. How is Aviator... Um, here's an interesting bug. Does anyone notice anything weird right now? I've made the outside 500 Fahrenheit. What? What? No. No, 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 no. What are you talking about, game? The outside is not 500 degrees. It's only in the caldera, yeah. So it's thinking that this caldera, because it's walled in, is inside and somehow not roofed. And it just got 500 degrees in this thing. <laughs> what? Mother of God, is that weird? I've just never. All right, it's back down to normal temperature now. It just had to like zigzag adjust. But very briefly, Aviator started getting burned due to the superheated like, intro. That was weird. That was pretty weird. Oh, uh, get out of here, Barracuda. I'm a, I'm a squish you. Whoa, one and done. Uh, all right, uh, Ammonites, you are allowed. Oop, that's the wrong one. Inside, forbidden. We'll be putting out this fire. And cleaning it up. Macho, no, whatever you're doing, don't do that. There is a lot of people that are just out. Do I have anyone that's bloodlust? Who would actually enjoy clearing the dead? No, I, I don't. Well, that's going to be an awful task for us to undertake. And yeah, maybe we woke up the super volcano. Feels like there's some truth to that. Uh, I should flip-flop the traps so that spikes are ready again. Because not all raids are going to be easy to burn. Uh, question. Should Dell still be able to use firebombs? Yes or no. So the reason I ask is he converted to our ideology, but he isn't He's a guest. So, ideologically, he's one of Amon Ra's chosen, but he's also still a member of the Treaty of Trust Rugwa. So, I don't know what rules to follow, because he's sort of in a no man's middle ground, and that's why I'm asking you. I 
We'll have you decide. Obviously, yes would make it easier on me. No would be harder on me. I, I don't mind it being harder. I don't care. It's all good. Ha, uh, uh, okay. And your prize for getting back up, Red, is death. All right, sorry, Seabass, but, uh, you are going to be a summary execution person here. I guess I didn't look at them. Not all massages, no. Hard workers look more pretty, no. Partridge, uh, no. Jaguar, no. Hard worker knowing voice, slowpoke, no. Nervous, no. Chemical interest, no. No. I don't want any of them. I mean, I kind of didn't want any of them anyway, but now I'm for sure don't want any of them. Seabass is about to have the worst day of his life with the tasks I've just given him. Having to <laughs> summary execute everyone who tried to come pay me a visit and be so friendly. It's not what they were really about. It waves over. Yep, JFED's bed. I'm gonna have to remember that next raid I can always use the pulser too. I often forget that the pulser is a thing that works. What is your deal? Why do I have to keep telling you to cremate? The tomb is slowly getting done. Yeah, it's almost smoothed out. And then all we have left to do is to make the new sarcophagi and then move the corpses from down here to up there. Very slow process. So it looks like you guys think, no, I will not allow Dell to use firebombs anymore. Having converted. So here is a Warhammer. Uh, question. Should I leave the non ammonites at the mining post? Yes or no? Do we call one back for firebombs or am I firebombless? So that's that next question up there. I'm happy either way. The fire traps are um, hyper effective and Unless the raid is sap or breach, it makes the raid a joke. I'm aware of that. Not my beats. My poor beats. Amon Ra is not allowed to use firebombs either. He's bound by the same rules as all the other Ammonites, which is no ranged weapons. Utility weapons are functionally a bit different. So he's, you know, same, same restrictions range. 
And then I also don't use the robots for weapons either. Although now that my robots are tier 3, they are Ammonites, technically. Technically, although they've never acted as, as Ammonites. Tunnels are frozen. West tunnel is frozen. North tunnel is frozen. Lab is frozen. So we are bug proof. Just wanted to check now that the heat wave's over. Does he still have the Phoenix Summer? He does. Oh, hi. Unusually clever. And you are 17, 27. Wow, that's a small raid. Okay. Well, they're going to avoid traps. No, they won't. They're going to step right onto them. I need to close the fire tunnel. And it looks like you guys say, nope. So fire is not a thing anymore. So this whole um, fire tunnel is closed. Like there's, it doesn't serve a purpose anymore. Cause no one, well, I can almost not set it in a fire except for Amonite, uh, Amon Ra's um, uh, Psycast. Or not Psycast. Well, actually Psycast too. Let's see how well it works out of sheer curiosity. See if I can't get the south path hot enough. Wasn't it no bring them back? Uh, what was it? Should I leave the non-anomites at the... Oh, it should be no bring them back. Okay, well, I'm good at reading my own questions. I'm going to still try to use the phoenix if there's time to wear it. Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> Get wrecked! I, uh, I wall raised him into a trap and killed him. <laughs> Macho's like, I have no time for your shenanigans. Bye! <laughs> That's great. Oh, they're coming through. Uh, well. Actually. I need to not do what I was thinking of doing. Quick, quick, quick. So what I need to do is I need to open up a valid path south because east is not going to work. Because there's no time to prep. So you are inside forbidden. Aviator slam that door shut. So they have to repath to me. Uh, I don't know what you're about to do. Oh, I drafted you. Okay, they're repathing. Which means, all y'all, gather around. Group one, flee. Let's switch doors. Amon Ra's in his, like, war armor. Yeah, that 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 ability there. When I saw uh, <laughs> I saw Macho vulnerable, where I'm just like, ah, I'll just fill the gap, like a true Earthbender. And it was icing on the cake that um, that he managed to shove one into the trap. I mean, that's just hilarious. So here we go. Will they even make it in? I have no idea. But, uh... I did channel my inner Toph, and it paid off. Oh! The other side is open, too. Well, you you choose. You lose. And that was it. That's all. That's all, folks. 
So inside Forbidden, I am going to dangerously allow them to remove the bodies and reset the traps. Uh, I'm going to have you vote on who to come back. So out here we have four people. Um, how many people should come home? One, two, three, or all. Uh, okay, I know how to type. Let me try that again. One, two, three, or all. So out here is Kilgore's Lab, Kitchenhead, and Marvelous Mike. Marvelous Mike is the only Ammonite. Kilgore's Lab and Kitchenhead are not Ammonites. If I recall, Kitchenhead was, was on his way to convert. Uh, Zleb and Kilgore were very resistant and aren't likely to convert, uh, no matter how much convincing, because they believe in an ideology that basically doesn't believe in conversion. Which makes it a wee bit tough. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. I like the little side jiggle that uh, Macho does when he's rearming those traps. Pretty silly looking. Yoda, can you stick your head out of the blanket so I feel comfortable that you're breathing? He says no. Okay. This is Yoda's back. His head's that way. <laughs> hey, Ban Ban. How you doing? You're just in time for some RimWorld reactor raids. It has been fun. Very fun. How was No Man's Sky today? What were you doing? Reactor raids? Yeah. Is it time to glow? It is. We are doing our little, our best glow up right here. We're about halfway through the reactor raids already. And it's a Yoda butt stream. So this little pal can moon you. Maybe if I um, bait him with a peanut, he'll show his head. There he is. Okay. We, you only want one to return. So who returns to the community? from the mining outpost. Gilgore, Kitchen Head, Zalev, or Mike. They go, vote right there, where the floating hand tells you to do so. So welcome, welcome Ban Raiders. You haven't touched uh, No Man's Sky in three years? Yeah, I'm. I've touched it since. Uh, it got better, where I was setting up like giant factory production lines to make the things that you need to make for the game to, yeah, you, you know the deal, I'm sure. Um, but I haven't played it in a quite some time, and there's been a lot of QOL improvements to it. I gotta give respect where respect is due. Hello Games got crapped on so hard, and deservedly so for hyping it, but like not actually living up to the hype. And then they're like, you know what? We can fix this. All right, Evil Yoda, pop your head out. And did they ever fix it? They made that that game legitimately pretty great. Um, which almost always it's the other way around. You know, look at an Ubi title and they're like, oh yeah, you own our game, quote unquote. Oh, sorry. Um, no, you were just renting the DLCs. We're taking them back now. Ugh, worst ever. I don't know if you guys know that, but there's been some um, 
some cases recently with games that you own on like Steam and then Ubisoft and I think another company was eyeballing doing the same thing. They were just like pulling it from the market. And if you own certain DLCs on Steam, they were just like, yeah, you don't have access to those anymore. You don't own those anymore. It's like, no, we bought it. It wasn't like a rental. This was purchased. We own it and you can't just take it from us. That's ridiculous. They've done that? Yes, they have. Yep. It's it's absurd. Um, yeah, I, I generally don't play AAA titles for a whole lot of different reasons. One, because they're overplayed on Twitch like crazy. So no one needs yet another me playing some giant AAA title. B, I don't find them, oh, most of them, they aren't creative. They're carbon copy, cookie cutter crap. Uh, like, I'm sorry, but I can't tell the difference between FIFA 1 and FIFA 22. It's uh, Functionally, they're the same game. And then another is that they behave horribly. Horribly. I'd much rather support indie titles. Unless the triple... I mean, there are some AAA companies that are like... That I can believe in still, but they're, they're few and far between. Big indie gamer win. What does that even mean, Laser? <laughs> cool, we'll get along? Yeah. I, um, I actually tried to enter the indie gaming industry as a um as a developer but like no one wanted me <laughs> i'm a bad coder what can i say all right so kilgore gets to come home uh you know in the morning i'm gonna send kynan out to go fetch kilgore and i'm gonna have kilgore and kynan come home with all the steel that's there in the outpost because after rebuilding all these deadfall traps uh, it wouldn't be a terrible idea for me to bring that steel home. The difference of FIFA is... Yeah. You watched an Angry Joe review of Madden the last few years. What I found funny, I think it was the one of the NBA ones, which sparked controversy, which was like, they were selling something like the 2021 version, and like a lot of the in-game art still had like 2020 left in it. <laughs> Because they just hadn't bothered to update it at all. And it's like, yes, that is the kind of energy that they bring to their work. The utmost uh, responsible, you know, yeah, it's it's awful. My point being, it's really cool when um, a company that very easily could have just swindled people tries to make it right. That, that was ultimately my point. Because easily, Hello Games could have just grabbed the money and ran. And that's not what they did. What are you doing with that? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I'm in Rod. Don't, don't do that. Unfinished stuff should not be hauled to a stockpile that the robots can't work on. No, uh, don't bring it to the quarry. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, no, stop, 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 stop. Oh. You're sabotaging Lady Shell. Quit, cut it out. It's a bad raw, bad. So I just sell, sending the elephants because I don't have to rope them. Should be a little easier to run in and out or out and in. I still am not getting steel in the lab. Let me make sure that the animals have access to this spot. Because it's, it's, um, okay. The animal haulers do have access to it. And then the animal haulers also have access to this zone. This zone is preferred. This zone is preferred. And this is important. 
Hmm. Yeah. Because uh, we are absolutely bottlenecked on progress for the ship. Well, some of it is just like JFED is working on the rugs. But uh, it's because the steel's in the wrong spot. Are animals set to the right hauling zone? They wouldn't be, would they? Um, let me set the pasture up to be correct as well. Yeah, because I actually haven't had them on animal hauling zones. There we go. That should work. That should work. Of course, all of my hauling animals are at the outpost, but that's besides the point. So we want to take items, all steel, and silver, and throwing knives, and then remove Kilgore. Kilgore and Kynan merge. Make sure Kynan, yep, they have everything they should, and return to Thebes. Kilgore, you are unbanished. Congratulations. By popular vote. Oh, we do have some goals here. Uh, I know I'm nearly out of time stream time, but I'm going to have you vote on the few that are here. There is Double Strand Rug for Amun Ra Bedroom. Build a sauna. Build outdoor dining air. Oh, God. What's going on now? Robotran, Confederacy attacking immediately. 34, front gate. Go. Kynan Kilgor, uh, do not enter home. Not safe. Not, not, not safe. These doors, this door is reversed. Which is going to be a little bit of a problem. I, this should be closed. That should be open, but oh well. Oh, I have the wrong lance on. I might as well use it. Hey, leader. Funk. Hey, right. I think I hit the one with the fire pots. Yeah, I did. Good. I don't really like fire pots being used against me. Wero. Macho. Oh, the door's closed. So sad. Oh, is he getting in? Ah, he got in. Regret! <laughs> As we cut out your... We disemboweled you. You done made a bad mistake. Whoa, you got through. You must be nimble. And dodge this. I uh, don't want you tanking, Amun Ra. We left this door open. That's my fault. Out of my face, peasant. Maxu, close the door. I thought that Ola Daka would stop them, but then Ola Daka decided to just stand there and not fight for reasons. I guess I didn't get the fire bomber. Things are lit. I should be red. You meant no offense, by the way. It's nice to see people boosting um, indie titles. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't take offense. I don't really take offense to anything. I've got um, thrombo thick skin. Build a sauna. Can I just stick like wet stones here and we've got a corpse sauna? Easy peasy, simple solution. Where is Firefly? I personally kept pur purposefully kept Firefly out of the um, the biopod so that Firefly could use Psycast, and then I haven't been using any Psycasts. All right, leave that door open. Firefly walk down. 
Drop a. Oh, they're gone. Never mind. Save your focus. Is your first name Gray? Nah. Do I want any of them? You're not terrible, but you're probably missing limbs. Yeah, you're missing too many body parts. You are not missing body parts. You do have a neck scar, though. And you're lazy slow learner, so I would say no. What about you that I shocked to the brain? Tortured artist, jogger? Nah, I'm good. Okay, inside Forbidden, I'm going to allow them access to this area again so they can reset it. And I think the only injury I sustained in that raid was a bruise to my arm. Not bad. No, no Devil Strand rug? Yeah, I'm sorry. Overruled. I think that's all I need to do for the sauna. Alright, caravan. I didn't want the caravan to re-enter and get just walloped because it also has all my uh, elephants. You, I don't want a tortured artist. This, this guy. He also sucks at art, so like, he'll be useful in a thousand years. And I won't have a colony in a thousand years. He's not going to be functionally useful in a given preset amount of time. You can think of it that way. Kilgore. Forbidden inside. And you need to move in front of JFED. Or I'm going to think you're a robot. You are also going to want a fire pot. Firebomb. What are they called? All oh, right, the elephants are haulers, so they're like kind of smart enough to put the steel where the steel belongs, which is super nice. I do want steel up in the lab, but whatever, this is close enough. At this point, I'm just researching for the sake of research. I'm not using any of it. And yeah, we'll get that sauna for you. Eventually. Put it in with the pool. Doesn't really work that way, but my pool room is um, usually pretty hot anyway. It's usually pretty steamy. Is the irrigation outside? Irrigation in the dubs is like a sprinkler system, which makes no sense for ancient Egypt, which is why I haven't um, set one up. So Kilgore is ready. What ideology do you have? Brutal Abattoir? So Nomadic Cannibal? The fact that you even chose to join me in the first place is insane. That there is not the type of individual you ever think would join a society. He's a spy. He's doing a bad job of it. Because I haven't had any of his ex... What did he even belong to? I don't even remember who he used to represent. They sure as heck haven't shown up to try to kill me. Or if they have, uh, I suppressed it pretty quick. Maxu with creativity. Uh, you're a pretty good artist. So I have 900 jade. I'm gonna make a grand sculpture for Maxu. Prediction. What will the quality be?
Masterwork Plus or less than Masterwork. Give you five minutes to predict on that. And I'm probably going to work drive him because I'm coming up near the end of the stream time and I want an answer for you all. And right now he's playing with poop. Maxu, go work. Quit playing with the poop. Almost all of my content is uploaded on YouTube, so if you ever want to watch something, it's all there. For better or for worse. Alright, so he's work driven. And we'll see. We'll see what quality it comes up with. Sixty-three grass. Not quite all the way back to where it was. <laughs> Kilgore went from a hundred to ninety-nine certainty. Yeah, I think I don't think Kilgore is going to have to give up that uh, that firebomb anytime soon. Yes, elephants, yes! So now that the elephants are helping, I'm gonna... It's probably a bad idea, but it's been a pretty tame ship reactor raid so far. Well, okay, no, it got super, super bloody and almost everybody died. But then it was tame after that. Um, I am going to start to have... Um, start to have JFED actually build the whole thing. So there's no reason not to. I'm a little worried about him trapping himself here. Uh... There's a non-zero chance that he does that. And, oh, great. You just cut the power. <laughs> We've had an extra thousand watts from the ship reactor, which is really nice. I mean, it's a very expensive object to build for the power. But then, for him to cut it, it's kind of annoying. A Jade Pyramid, how baller? It's not my only one. I have a few. Here's a marble one and a jade one. Green Jade Pyramid named Blue Picture. This room world's known for their very uh, accurate depiction of art. And this will be a pretty good indicator of how much more steel we need. Um, so... Chip caskets. Oh, uh, poker? Poker? Don't even know her. Let's get that out of the way. Maybe the artist is colorblind? I can, I can go with that explanation. Do we need components? Uh, we do. And Lady Shell is making them. Basically, as fast as you can. Hmm. I could also put beams here for more pods. But that allows me to take four. I'd like to take five. But also, I'd like for you to vote on how many people are going. So all I really know is that I'm bringing one. Maybe it is a ship for one. Uh, you are making components and advanced components. They're both on the bench. So it's uh, at least 40, or at least 20 advanced components and at least 60 regular components. I can take that down to 50. But yeah, we do have a lot of component queues up. Should be fine. Look at all the elephants all on the steel. Good trunk puppies. Attach the poker and billiards table to the ship. And just enter space with like a billiards attached into deep space. That'd be pretty interesting.
I mean, I guess there is a Tesla flying around. So it, it wouldn't be unheard of. I wonder where that Tesla is now. Like out by Mars. So yeah. It sounds crazy, but it's not any more crazy than what we've already done. We put golf tees and golf clubs on the moon and a Tesla near Mars. Who knows, man? People do weird things, especially billionaires. Oh, did you get the power again? For the love of God and all that is holy, quit doing that. Stop. I'll make my own spaceship with blackjack and androids. <laughs> I understand that reference. Well, there goes my steel from like 2000 to 200 in a blink of the eye. You're surprised no one has launched rubber duckies into space? I mean, we've we've launched a lot of animals, but never rubber ones. Who knows? I mean, astronauts sometimes smuggle things to space, too. Maybe we have sent rubber duckies to space, and we just don't know about it. Oh, uh, poker in the rain sounds awful. Let's cover that up. Do robots care if they get wet? Maybe they don't actually care. I don't see that soaking is a status. Oh, hi. Thank you, fellow Ammonites, for tuning in to RimWorld False God, which originally streamed live on Twitch, September 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. It also has a link to Discord if you're interested in joining the gaming community, and that link can also be found in the description of the video. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream or series. Adios, my fellow Ammonites.